You know, I had some questions about Henan Burrell coming into this fight. I didn't think he looked great in his last fight, but he looked great tonight. And, and uh, so did so did uh, TJ, and it, it, it was awesome. He, the kid was putting together combinations. Um, he, he stood in the pocket. You know, he didn't use as much movement as he did last time. He stood in the pocket, and he traded, and, you know, he ended up getting the better of him. Can you think of another time where, where we've had a guy that, that was so basically disregarded before the first fight? He was like a 12-to-1 underdog or whatever, and just dominated, and, and, and then... He's kind of become kryptonite for a guy that was so dominant before. Yeah, and I think he was a two to one favorite tonight, right. or close to it. Um, uh, yeah, it's I, I don't know. Yeah, it, going into that fight, everybody complete. I mean, everybody thought it was a joke that we were doing Barrow versus Dillashaw, and uh, here we are. We didn't expect that out of you a year and a half ago. Mm -hmm. Did you expect that out of yourself this time around? You won, you won all three rounds, but as as you said, it was a little bit maybe a little bit tougher this time. But mm -hmm. you still look pretty dominant in there. Yeah, I mean, I definitely expect to dominate the fight. You know, I felt that I was a faster athlete, and uh, I had the I had the skills to beat him. So yeah, I expected myself to win every round. I knew, I knew he's tough. You know, I mean, he's a very tough fighter, and I knew he's going to bring it. But I'm of course going to believe myself to win every round. Would you say that you're the same fighter today that you were before that first fight, or did you need that that first fight to put yourself over some kind of a hill to to the next level? I mean, it definitely helped with my confidence. You know, that first that first fight against him definitely helped uh, for me to believe in what I'm doing is the right things. You know, what I'm training is the right way. Um, the the drills that I'm doing, the everything. You know, everything I'm doing is working. So, it it definitely helps. You looked fresh throughout. He looked like he was getting tired midway through the second round. How much do you attribute? training you know at altitude to that for you i mean it, it helped you know i've always kind of had good cardio um how much i work and how professional i take this sport and my nutrition's on point um my strength conditioning's on point you know I've, i i don't cut i don't take any shortcuts so i'm always going to be in shape i mean altitude help you know it was hard to deal with when i first got up there you know i didn't realize how hard it was going to be to deal with the altitude um i, I split my camp up half and half and but that, that's the I did, I did more of it in the beginning in, in Sacramento, and then we did more at, towards the end in, in Denver because of dealing with altitude.